I'm Paul Bennett at Downey Stunda Creations in Millbridge, Maine. And today's video is about making this wooden hanging wall sculpture. And the inspiration comes from Scott O'Connor, an artist out in California. And he has a YouTube channel and uh, he does a lot of these and he's really a master. He's a genius at his art. And I'm going to put a uh, link to his YouTube channel in the video description just below the video so you can check it out himself uh, yourself but uh, he has uh, provided me with the inspiration to do this I love his work uh, this pales in comparison to the work that Scott does but uh, I had some leftover Hackmatack pieces and uh, I used last year for making a breast hook and some quarter knees for a small dinghy I never threw them out um, this is what I came up with. I don't know what Scott would do. Um, I was trying to think of how he would arrange the pieces, but that's what I came up with. And uh, I kind of like it, although if Scott's watching this video, he's probably laughing hysterically. I'd be interested to, uh, to hear his comments on it and maybe some suggestions on how I could do a little bit, uh, you know, make it a little bit better next time. Things to look out for. But I really enjoy his videos and I think you should check them out. And while you're at it, um, while you're watching this video and how I did it, uh, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, you'll automatically be entered in my random drawing giveaways that I have every time I reach a milestone. There's uh, one coming up soon when I reach 300 subscribers. And uh, in addition to that, I hope you'll uh, like and share the video and please add your comments, uh, what you like. If you dislike it, that's fine. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I just like to hear your feedback. I really appreciate it. So um, I'm not going to uh, spend much time blathering on here. I'm going to uh, continue with the video. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I have these pieces of Hackmatack, uh, otherwise known as East and Lodge, left over. Uh, from making some breast hook and uh, a breast hook and some quarter knees for a small dinghy I built last year and uh, these were sliced from the natural knees formed by where the trunk of the tree uh, transitions into the roots and these were sliced lengthwise and that was to get a lot of strength in those uh, quarter knees and breast hook I didn't throw these away because I just really like the grain of the Hackmatack and the way it finishes. And I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do with this. And watching Scott O'Connor's uh, YouTube channel, he does amazing things with, with wood, uh, wood sculptures. And right now I'm trying to think, what would Scott do with this? How would he arrange these? That's what I'm trying to figure out.